new update on the death of the late gospel singer Osinachi. The FG slams homicide charges against gospel singer Osinachi's husband. The federal government has filed a 23 count charges against Peter Wanchuku, husband of late popular gospel artist Osinachi, before the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory. The late gospel singer died on April 8, allegedly from complications from injuries she sustained after he assaulted her. According to court papers filed on Monday 28, 2022 by Mrs. Yewande Bola Awobetu, Head Sexual and Gender Bias Violence, Department of Public Prosecution of the Federal Ministry of Justice. Mr. Wajuku was charged with uh, culpable homicide contrary to the Section 221 of Penal Court, which is punishable with death. Count 1 reads that you, Peter Wajuku, 56, male, on the 8th of April 2022 at a co estate opposite police station Lube Abuja FCT within the jurisdiction of the Honorable Court did commit an offense with to wit culpable homicide punishable with death in that you caused the death of Mrs. Osinachi Wachuku by your various acts of violence and aggravated assault with the knowledge that her death would be the probable consequence of your act. Count 2. Statement of offense willfully placing a willfully placing a person in fear of physical injury contrary to section 4 1 of the uh, violence against person prohibition act 2015 and punishable under the same section of the act no date has been fixed for the commencement of hearing but this is the news we have concerning the late gospel singer Osinachi we all know that the lady passed on it trended on social media they talked about it and it was alleged that her husband was responsible for her death because it was alleged that he was always beating her up and kicking her in the chest and so on and so forth and so um the, they've done their investigation the police they've done their investigation and this is the update that we have now that they have actually filed um a case against him and so in no time he will be appearing in court and you heard what uh they wrote here which it says that this is punishable by death so it's either he might get life imprisonment if he is found guilty or he might even get uh they might sentence sentence him to you know death by hanging or they might just make it to life imprisonment or whatever now for those of you that do not know nigeria is a country that if they find you guilty of a crime and it is punishable by death that is what it is for you okay it is hardly uh, that your um case will be overturned to something else but uh, let's wait and see how this will play out and i hope this will really go as a warning to all those men out there that feels like they cannot have a healthy argument although no argument is healthy but at least in a marriage in a relationship people will have to disagree to agree and all of that but you do not have to put your hand on someone and if you really look at this man it seemed like he was very jealous of his wife's success a lot of people had so many good things to say about Osinachi, the late Osinachi. Uh, people talked about how good she was when she ministers. People talked about how her music touched them. A lot of people loved her sing her songs and they would go, you know, download, play it and just enjoy it. People feel in the spirit when they listen to her song, listen to her ministration. And I feel like such a good talent, a blessing that God gave to the world because of this man's jealousy, because he cannot control himself he actually put his hand not once not twice because a whole lot of people came out allegedly saying that Osinachi swore them to secrecy they knew about what was going on in her home but she swore them to secrecy saying do not let the church know do not let people out there know do not let my family know do not let every any any anything anybody that witnessed anything 
she will always swore them to secrecy even the um studio where she used to go record her music the owner of the studio also testified allegedly because in court now we will get to hear everything because then every all testimony will be on the oath okay so you cannot go to court to lie but right now we will keep saying allegedly but they are saying they have witnessed how brutal this man can be comment down below and let me know what you think